everyone. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 314. I'm Aileen. I'm George. Yukari. Nathan. Welcome to the couch. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> you really butched it up there. Uh, very manly. Uh, uh, there, what's going on? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what's going on. It's Toy Break. And what is Toy Break, you ask? Toy Break is your weekly internet show all about the wonderful world of toys, including but never limited to designer vinyl, plush, action figures, collectibles, artist interviews, Comic-Con exclusives, whatever we can bring you in said wonderful world. That's what we aim to do. We also aim to start by telling you about our site sponsors, like Happy Panda Toys. Tomonosuke. Suburban Vinyl. DK Toys. And, of course, Three Dr. Etro. Haha, ha, see what I did there. <laughs> and the Leets for Wisps contest is ending. Wisps. Finally. Um, okay, so all you had to do was put your Instagram name in, and we're going to choose someone at random who wants Who's to gonna pick. Yukari's going to choose. Yukari's gonna choose. Yeah. We got sloughed. <laughs> I got sloughed. <laughs> This thing is like enormous. Let's move this out of the way for a sure. second. Just for a second. Just for a second. It'll come All right, back. who's the winner? Oh, wait, we need two winners, right? There's two wisps. Drum There's roll. two wisps. Oh, you can each pick one if you want. Oh, perfect. Two guests, two wisps. And the winners are. Okay, so it's going to be two names on there. One is a forum name, and the next is their Instagram oh, name. Okay. I'll have to get out my phone so we can check. Really? You're checking? I'm going to try. Okay. Nathan? Scruffy Nerf Herder. Congratulations. Greg, I don't want to screw up your last name. It's Marine. Junior. Okay. Das Book Pimp. Yay, Das Book Pimp. Okay. Do you think they're both following Lisa Fur? Greg Marine. Let's see if I could find Lisa Fur real quick. He follows a lot of people. All right. All right, you guys move on. I'm going to see if they follow them. While George is checking on those people, congratulations, because I'm probably, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to follow the rules and and we're following Lisa for So, let's tell you about the new contest that's happening. Thank you, at least for one, for the contest. Here's the names, if you'd like to check. Uh, but that means we have a new contest, which actually we need to review also. Uh, this is the Stax contest. You can win this Stax figure from Kier's Eye by going to the contest section on the forum, at toybreak.com, and post your favorite sci-fi quote. The deadline mm. is July 30th. So what do we got here? We have a Slee Stack. Who he follows Reggie Watts. I'm not following. <laughs> Shout out to Reggie. <laughs> out. I'm sorry, does he watch? Yeah, I'm sure he does. Obviously. <laughs> you need to get him on the show. So, did you guys Where, watch Land of Can Lies? I open this? this sure. Is the one you're well, away? you already did. Yeah. It is it the is one the we're one giving, we're giving away, away, but let's also, let's see it. Let's, Nathan has now licked it. the one we're giving away. <laughs> oh, I don't know all I'm going to do to it. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my. Is this a regular green? Yeah, classic. The classic. Mm, not that one. Edition of a thousand. Is it glow or cl- no? That's classic. Classic, I think. Oh, that's cool. There's plate. a flocked one. <laughs> I never thought to follow Stop him. it! Would you just check the thing? <laughs> He's on the Instagram show in the corner. <laughs> it's funny. At first, I. Please smell. <sighs> first sniff is free. <laughs> mm, yeah, it's good. I like it. So I think it's cool. a pretty cute figure. It's you know the very stylized vinyl ver- cartoony version of. A sleeve stack from Land of the Lost. It's pretty yeah, cute, right? It's cute. No articulation, not much to it. It's just a cute little vinyl statue. He can waddle. He can waddle. Waddling action. And what do we have? Kierseye.com and vinylstacks.com. You can go to their sites to check out the products. And those that's an officially licensed Land of the Lost thing, too. Oh, it is? Yeah. That's that would be like, why it says Land of the Lost on the That's back. not somebody's like fan art. No. Oh, from Shinbone. I don't know oh. what toedesign.com is, but it's got a really weird logo. Hmm. Ooh, hairy <laughs> toes. <laughs> Ugh, gotta pluck those. Um, this is kind of cool. I like this piece. So, sci-fi quote, movie, book, I don't care what quote you put up there. Okay. They're following. You're good? Yep. You're good? Both of them? Yep. Woohoo! So they're allowed to win. All right, so now come join the contest for the stack. George, do you have an opinion? Did you want to? Uh, no, what would we have to do? Post your favorite sci-fi quote. I like that. Good That's ideas. It. Thanks. It's like I've done this before for eight years. Something <laughs> like that. Crazy. Now, what's the cutoff? Is it going to be any kind of sci-fi? Is there like, does Terminator count? Is it that sci-fi? Terminator right? count. Oh, yeah, of course Terminator Space counts. Space fantasy, all the... Yes. <laughs> Anything. Ice pirates. Uh, ice pirates. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Or, you know, running man. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you again, by the way, for my birthday present. <laughs> All right, so let's get into what you really came here for, which is countdown to Comic Con. Countdown to Comic Con. Countdown to Comic Con. Andale, andale, arriba, arriba, Comic Con. 
quiet, Steve. <laughs> George, would you like to tell us a little bit about what Mattel has to offer this year? Sure. They have Batman, <laughs> Arkham Knight, Batmobile with lights and sound for $85. DC Classic TV Series Batman Utility Belt. It's a 43-inch belt and a 12-inch Batarang from the 1960s TV series, $125. DC Comic Total Heroes Ultra Cyborg Action Figure for $25. DCU Classics Doomsday Action Figure for $35. Disney Pixar Cars 2014 Special Edition Neon Racers Gift Pack with Diecast Lightning McQueen and Shu Todoroki for $50. Ever After High Cerise Wolf Doll. Cerise? Cheris? Cheris? It's $30. Hot Wheels Aston Martin DB5, $20, already sold out. Hot Wheels Star what? Wars Darth Vader vehicle, $40. Hot Wheels The Homer, $30. Turbo, I think all the Hot Wheels are sold out. Right? Just, keep, just keep, going, keep going. Turbo Charge Max Steel with weaponized steel action figure, $20. Monster High, Manny Tor, and Iris Clops, two-pack, $40. Goatman Master of the Universe Classics action figure for $27. Master of the Universe Classics Hordak with Imp action figure for $30. Now, actually, all of these things are pre-sold out. Everything except like the utility belt, and I think like two of the, the action utility figures. The utility belt's the coolest one. So if you, <laughs> I don't know one twenty five, but that's if you want any of the things I just mentioned, forget it. But here's They're the thing: out, <laughs> doesn't eBay. Mattel keep some on stock? For, like they're the on you know, like day of show sale. I don't know. Or preview night. Maybe. Don't Good they luck. usually have a line for like buying stuff at the booth? I'm pretty sure they do that. So if you're coming to Comic Con. I think there's still a chance you could get those things, but uh, for no pre-ordering chance. online, there's only like three of those things still available. But it's interesting to know what's out. I saw you clap at the, the what is that? Shari, what Monster, High? Monster High. Monster High. Wait, what was Man, the other one? Ever, ever After. Oh, Ever High. After. Do you collect those? No, but I want to. Have you? Have you seen <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> no, but I want to. Do I have? Oh, I don't have a picture of that one ready to go. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think these are really cool. Oh, I, I figured. Are you getting the Homer? I, that that one, yeah, that looks cool. I don't know. If you said it sold out. Well, yeah, yeah. but like the eh, pre-order. eBay. Find it on eBay. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. That's I, I, one coming up next. Looks cool. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk about some more Funko releases because Funko is blowing the whole con out with craziness because they have new I'll releases coming out that. every week. What? You want to blow out? <laughs> 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 So they're sold out. <laughs> All right, so Funko will have, on top of what we've already mentioned on previous shows, uh, the Invisible Reaction Predator with green blood splatter. Can we say before we move on that that looks like a Suck Lord figure? <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it just looks like Suck Lord made this, and now Funko is selling it. Yep. Uh, the Pop Luke and Wampa set, the Pop Buffy figure, Pop Fred and Barney set, and that one comes in three different colorways, in case you didn't notice from the Flintstones. Uh, Pop Hannibal Lecter, obviously <laughs> from the new Hannibal, not uh, oh, Anthony Hopkins Hannibal. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mashup. What we've all been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> what the world needed. Disney Mystery Minis and the Jane Cobb and Malcolm Reynolds reaction figures. Now, are those going to be exclusive or is that like... It says it's the Comic-Con exclusive, but I don't know if that counts as a release That's or... That's weird because why would they not want to put those out later? I, I don't know where all my pictures went. The Firefly ones were in there. Anyway, what else do we have coming up? Toys R Us at Entertainment Earth. This is booth 2343. Winged Fairy Maleficent. My Little Pony Queen Chrysalis Doll. My Little Pony Equestria Girls Zakora Doll. Yes! Power Rangers <laughs> Mighty Morphin Legacy Lord Zed. G.I. Joe Danger at the Docks Urban Assault Vehicle 2-Pack. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classics Figures from the Movies from the 90s Ooh. movie. Yes. And then Star Wars Black uh, Cantina Showdown Han and Greedo. Okay, nice. And both of them shot first. So No! <laughs> so those are the figures that have been out, just put it in just a new place. Just put it into a repack. cardboard yeah. play set. Yeah, car- okay. I think okay. it's cardboard. It doesn't look like anything but cardboard. But that yeah. one I'm pretty sure no, I have. No, they... Yeah. Oh, I don't have the final. Oh. Do you have pictures of the Ninja Turtle? Uh, class? Oh, interesting. I love them. <laughs> I think they're lo- like... It, it's the, the look at the Donatello. Turtle. Yeah, he's so goofy. <laughs> he looks like he's uh, talking like a Muppet. Yeah. That's great. I'm so happy they made these. It's so cool. <laughs> and for anyone that thinks the new movie Turtles look goofy, look at the old movie Go Turtles. Go back and look at those. Because they look goofy too. But th- we're just used to that Goofy. Exactly. And we'll be used to the new ones soon. Yeah. Wait, Goofy's in it? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. 
<laughs> all right, but that's not all for Comic Con. We have Since these we have guys. some guests here, let's talk to you guys. Yay. Hey, first, hello. shout out your websites. Where you got? Where can people find you? Flatbonnie.com. Yay. <laughs> Uh, NathanHamill.com. Boo. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. You said you wouldn't do me. I was kidding. I was just kidding. Back. Yay, NathanHamill.com. So, FlatBonnie.com and NathanHamill.com. Mm -hmm. But not only do you both have interesting things coming out on your own, you have some joint efforts. Collaborative uh, mm -hmm. uh, projects. Yes. Would you like to tell us about them? Which, what, what should we go first? Oh, well, I guess um, we should, let's go with this one first. This was sure? the first... Uh, this is the Octo oh, Clush. It was cute. From cute. last, it was at DesignerCon last year, and mm -hmm. it's her handiwork, um, uh, her doing a plush version of uh, my Sofubi uh, Octopup. Adorable. So. Look how big he is compared to the little Octopup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a little hat. Oh, he's like that head sucker thing from Futurama. The, uh, what are they called? Yeah. Um, the Brain Slug. Yeah, yeah, Brain Slug. But yeah, I mean, this thing is so so well. So this will well be a Comic Con, not this. Con. No, th we're just we're, we're teasing like the sold out you. stuff. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, we're just showing you what <laughs> you should have. You can't yeah. have that. This is what we worked on. It, it's it's what gone. What are you guys, yeah. Mattel? Yeah. <laughs> we're just showing you the sold out. Things. We have a He Man one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can't get this one, but doodly, doodly, doodly. <laughs> but this one, this one here. So this is now the or we can call it the mini plush octo octo pup. Octopup, no. Mini Octopup, no. Aquapup. Aqua, yes. This is the Aquapup plush. <laughs> They're still working it the out. The mini version, yeah. It's the mini mega Octopup plush. Mini mega, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> mini mega. <laughs> um, and Actually, I do kind of like that. That's funny. <laughs> and what we're going to do here, is she's going to make three of these guys mm -hmm. for Comic-Con. When you buy one of these, there will be a, a, a hidden ticket in them, in three of them. So you will get one for free as an incentive what? to pick up these guys. So, so where do you buy the regular oh. Octopups? Uh, this will be at 3D Retro's booth, which is 5409. Uh, five, that think. sounds correct. Sounds it's around the right. corner from us, and we're 4951. Yeah, you'll find it. Ben, it's find easy. him. Just find Ben. Um, and what colors will you, of the regular Octopup will you have? Oh, this one is the uh, Octo Crush. Ah, mm. it kind of makes me want a Fanta. Don't yeah. you? Or an Don't orange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Fanta one's coming later. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Secrets. So, yeah. These, uh, they go for 10 bucks and... So, for $10, $10 you get a figure. Of getting that? And you yeah. might get a free she, one of these super she's, limited... She's really nice. I, what can I say? Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, how do you make rent? You're giving all your work oh. away. I did talk her down for wow. five. I'm like, come on. It's going to... It's a lot of work. That's fantastic. This thing's amazing, you guys. Mixed media. It's got the fleece and the... Pleather. Pleather. What if I'm not lucky enough to get one of the three free ones? Will I be able to purchase that later? Maybe at Decon? Mm -hmm. Sounds mm -hmm. good to me. Decon. Hey, it always sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, you could do a black and a red one for Decon. Mm. Or... Let me check out that one. Or... Well, this one she made, I just had a birthday, yeah. and she... You did? Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Do you have one every year? <laughs> every year, yeah. Weird. About the same time, roughly, yeah. <laughs> Give or take a week. Well, happy birthday, sir. Thank you. Um, but she made this for me. She made me, um, and I, I. she sent me photos the other day, and I was like, how did you know that I have... I have a Blues Deluxe Offender amp just like this, this tweed style. And she didn't know. She just said, Aww. I knew you liked music, and it was just an awesome coincidence. And it's, I love it. So You're so great. intuitive. So I get to keep this one? <laughs> yeah. <it's true. laughs> Wait, George wasn't listening. What a jerk. <laughs> oh, okay, I love so how stuffed it is. Yeah. Is it super stuffed? Yeah, he's like extra stuffed. Oh, yeah. He loves extra stuffed. Yeah. Oh. That's, 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 the way, that's, that's my favorite kind of plush. Extra so, stuffed. So you, you have a chance to win one of these. Mm -hmm. Amazing aqua pups. You have a chance right now to look at this. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get this. You can't but get if, this. But if demand is... You know, it's... It's it's up to uh, maybe to we will. So at Comic Con you could probably you you could maybe win one of these, but mm. maybe later you could buy one at Decon. Decon. Yes. Okay. We, we we haven't you really planned can... this out. Yeah. <laughs> Stay I, tuned. I, Stay tuned. Indeed. I like the chance to win one for ten bucks, and I'm already buying the figure anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And this is awesome. this is one of this might be my favorite one. It's just uh, I like the color. The color is amazing. You can really can see, see the sculpt. Soft. It's like she said. It's so like this a, one I'm keeping. Then. This, <laughs> that's <laughs> Actually, right. That's no, off I'm, my shelf. I need that back. I'm, I'm buying one because I want a chance to win that. 
but yeah, it's just it was it's a really nice color. Uh, shows off the sculpt. It's got uh, that really great where it looks like it's glowing around the mm-hmm. edges. It's yeah, like day glow. Like, yeah, but like a neon thing. Yeah. And uh, it's like at a rave. This was uh, sculpted <laughs> by. Have you guys heard of this company? October. When is it? October. Oh, well, Whitney. Whitney sculpted Octopop this. Octopop Toys. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Octopop Toys. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a good one. Yeah, it's she did an amazing one. job. It's really nice. Good so, work. So that's that's the. First. These are amazing. I gotta say, even though I enjoy that giant black octopup that you made last year mm-hmm. for Decon, I really like the new size. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Because yeah. this fits like a lot better size. on my shelf. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But picture him with like red and black instead of all black. I don't, I'm just saying. We always go back. You know, we can go back to the. Oh, other it's also side, Deadpool but... colors. <laughs> no, but this is good. This is uh, we could call this the mini pumpkin size. It's kind yeah. of. It's maybe, not that sense, or, or cancel. Stay it. tuned for the the official name. Yeah. Of whatever this is. <laughs> It'll say right here. After. All right. So you guys have some more stuff coming out. Who wants to go first with their Comic Con stuff? Your mm-hmm. turn. Okay. So. What do you got, Yukari? I had. This is awesome. His name is Spark with Q. <laughs> Look at him all pumped he's up. He's a baby dragon. <laughs> Aww. He's awesome. He's octopups out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Spread out. Oh. Okay. How'd you Whoa, make him? What? Stands. He stands. It's a plush that stands, you guys. That's pretty You rad. just blew my mind. Really? <laughs> really? That's crazy. What? That's so smart. I love so the spikes smart. down the back. That's really cool. Oh, I was looking at it standing. That's well, such uh, a great idea to use the tail. Yeah. But it's also great craftsmanship because to get it to be even like that. Yeah. <laughs> stand, and you're really like, yeah, yeah that's, that's not easy. But again, I love mm-hmm. your use of mixed media because, like, you know, you have the different mm-hmm. style fabrics, and then this one incorporates the the vinyl. And I'm a sucker for any sparkly vinyl. Really? Sparkly. You vinyl. just saw some the other day that you were like, I wish I had something to do with it. Well, we were at a this store. This reminds me of and it. And they had the the rolls of it, and I was mm-hmm. like, Oh, I wish I needed uh, sparkly vinyl for something. The couch. Oh, couch. <laughs> sparkly <laughs> vinyl couch. couch. Sparkly vinyl couch. And then we can hose it off <laughs> after people come over. Um. So where is this going to be available? Um. He will be at Giant Robot Booth at. Um, seventeen twenty nine. Fantastic. Seventeen twenty nine. Awesome. Do you um, know how much he'll be? He will be forty dollars. That's it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. And he'll come with a button and adoption certificate. Oh, get out of here. here. Yep. Aww. Oh, there's an adoption certificate that totally takes me back to my uh, cabbage patch. cabbage patch kid days. Oh yeah. Remember when they had the little mm-hmm. like, my name is Mary Lee or whatever. <laughs> Oh, you should start putting your name on their butts. Just kidding. <laughs> don't, don't. Every Cabbage Patch kid had Xavier Roberts' name on its butt. Really? Yeah. Little You're like, wait a minute. Signature. You know, like a tramp mm. stamp. <laughs> <laughs> That's what started it. <laughs> oh, I knew we were we were programmed. <laughs> right. From the '80s. Mm-hmm. This is so cute. I love that. Like, what a cool little addition. And the giant Robo booth will have other floodies too. What else the you got? Tears. What else? You got? This is a sh- oh. Shugita sugar glider. Oh, sugar glider. Flat Bonnie. And he's like five times bigger than a sugar glider. <laughs> and money to sloth. <laughs> and Flat Bonnie. And probably Rooney the Red Panda. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you have so many amazing... They're so soft, you guys. Yeah. They're so soft. Yeah. Do you have a lot of people buy your stuff for like little kids? Not really. M- mostly adult. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would. You can't give like a baby like a forty dollar plush, can you? Like. Well, you can. I don't like babies that much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a really cool baby. To get one of these. I've met some pretty cool babies that I would give a forty dollar plush to. Look at how cute these guys are. I love how you pare it down to a very simplistic. You know, like you get down to the simplest elements, which really makes it more of an impact oh, on the plush. I think. Oh. Look at these, you guys. How can you not want that? No, but the the my favorite thing they're just they're so sturdy. Like this, you know, the the okay. stitching is just. Oh, oh, we'll go back to the octopus. Let's we'll stay on these guys. <laughs> um, octopus. Uh, yeah, I mean they're just like. Oh, I love this guy. Do you hand make all of these? Yeah. Oh, Would you sleep? No. Not really. <laughs> wow, this seems like a lot of work. I don't know how you do it. Wait, did you want to show that other thing that you took down off the table? Yeah, we can. That was another, actually, collaboration between these two crazy crazy kids. Yeah, speaking of sturdy, this thing... You want to talk about what, how goes, this came it can, about? It can go through through time and... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, 
this uh, this was a design I had um, Ben Gretzky of Three Retro. Never heard of him. Yeah, <laughs> Doctor uh, uh, Doctor Retro. Um, he collects and commissions artists to do Back to the Future pieces for him. So he wanted me to do a piece for a while, and I'm it's, you know it's still Project Date 2017. But I had this idea, and I can't make plush, so. I, she, she, we collaborated on this. I did the the design of the face, and it's the plush capacitor, um, <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it, my favorite thing is just like the the attention to detail. Maybe we can show a photo of it, mm -hmm. but like mm -hmm. these little these little rivets here, like they're all separate pieces that she's sewn in. This it's just the wire. It takes a lot of time. You, how do you even yeah. do that? How? It was How long did it take to make a piece like this, if you don't mind me asking? I love this, too. Twelve hours. Twelve yeah. hours. You really don't sleep. <laughs> That's amazing. Where did you get... Like, did you have fabric? No, those are um, heat transferred. Oh. oh cool. So I took Nathan's artwork, and he transferred it, and wow. then covered it with a vinyl. That's so smart. Plushtonium. <laughs> Amazing. And again, with the use of mixed media, just the little wires wire. and wire ties and clear vinyl, like that's something I think people, some people may not have thought to do. Is it's very Nathan right there. Yep. You know, you do the, you make the plush and then cover it with the clear vinyl, which gives it that look of the glass mm -hmm. cover. So just little touches like that. And he sits perfectly. He's in the middle seat, in the back seat with the really? seatbelt on. Aww. Yeah. Put yeah, it with the seat. I brought him over today. <laughs> I didn't go. He wasn't up uh, front in the. Did you hit eighty-eight way. miles an hour when you? No, were but. All right, I, so we're totally showing you stuff you can't have. Sorry. Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. <laughs> welcome, That's amazing. Welcome to but, jerk break. Jerk break. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I'm kind of obsessed with this baby dragon. Yeah. Spark. With Q. He's amazing. Spark with a Q. With Q. Do you have to say with a Q like that's his name? <laughs> Spark with a Q. With Q. <laughs> I, I mean, all of your stuff's great. Thank this you. This is fantastic. So go to Comic-Con, check him out. If you're not going to Comic-Con... And that was the Giant Robot booth. Giant Robot. One. 1729. 1729. 1729. If for some reason you're not going to... this uh, Comic-Con. Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. Wow. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> Comic-Con. Comic Comic if you're not going to Comic-Con, because obviously tickets are already sold out, you should definitely come to Decon. Because yes. you can check out all your stuff there, mm -hmm. too. So Maybe we'll make a different color. Ooh. Fancy. And you can also go to flatbonnie.com. Yes, you can always go to flatbonnie. It's not on the website yet. That's okay. okay. They can go buy your other <laughs> stuff. They can buy this guy and him and him and Yeah, him. you slacker, you. <laughs> yeah, can you really, can you just make Everybody some more Everybody needs stuff? at least one flat bonnie. Like, you got to have the original. I have mine right here. You have to have the original <laughs> character. Awesome. Very cool. So, um, that's your Comic-Con stuff? Yes. Will you Do be you. there signing or anything? Are you going? Or? No, I'm on the waiting list. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe not. Probably not. You can sound, out, sound sign outside <laughs> <laughs> at the park. Hello Kitty did that last year. Oh, they set up a, yeah. a, a, yeah, a pop-up? Did yeah. you see? I didn't see that. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. They had the, the really big... Like a truck? Like a... Was it... Like no, a like a blow-up Hello Kitty? No, that was the Smurf. Oh. No, I didn't see the Hello Kitty. Really? No. Oh, I saw I it on it. Instagram. Hmm. I missed that. Too much right. to see. And Nathan? <laughs> Nathan? Yes. What are you, you going to Comic Con? I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm breaking my. <laughs> so this is our countdown you know to have Comic to Con. Andale, andale, arriba, arriba, Comic Con. With that, people who aren't going to Comic Con. Yeah, exactly. She might be Boo. outside. I won't even be near. Boo. Uh, You're breaking. Not going? No, no. Um, Who's gonna get my toy? I'm Aww. breaking my. I, this would have been my 14th consecutive year, but. I can't believe you're breaking it. Not even for one day. No. Uh, I can't make it this okay, year. Okay. There you go. What are you doing? Uh, going, uh, going over to uh, London for. Uh, He's moving to London. <gasps> yeah. Be with his dad. Steve, I <laughs> said, shut up. Oh, oh. Big shot. <laughs> going to London. Uh, so, what will you have at Comic Con? That is things that you will have. Well, we're at, we'll have the uh, oh. after crush, but I have a new little guy here. Oh, oh. Showing off the guns what? there. What? Oh. So this is uh this is Lava Bear, the classic edition. This is a uh this colorway. Look at him flexing. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, the beach is that away. Um Yeah, this is uh he's a he's a big guy. He's I think he's he's like about maybe a little over about eight inches. And 
Way to brag, Nathan. Yeah, right? I knew you couldn't. I knew that. Wait, wait, I was you think that's big, huh? My, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, my lava bear. Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> just... You can take these two anywhere. <laughs> or everywhere. Um, yeah, what what can I say? I'm really, really excited for this. Brand new character. Yeah, this well, is the first time... Well, he's not a new time. character. He yeah. had him around. It was the first time, yeah. For a while, but it's the first time he's ever been made into 3D. Into 3D. And, and um, he's vinyl. He's vinyl. And, uh, yeah, this one is, this is a 125 pieces. And, yeah, it'll be at the 3D Retro booth, which was the number I said before. <laughs> um, yeah, something. take one home. Do you know the price on those yet? Uh, this will be $80. Nice. And, and how many points of articulation? One, um, three? Yeah. Three. The legs are immobile. Oh, he does kind of have a vampire look with that colorway. Yeah. 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 I, that's uh, the other that's day. That's so funny. I was thinking I need to make a cape for this guy. Oh, but it, You can see. You, she you needs to check out the, the, the story. I don't, you know, I don't want to paraphrase the, the, the legend of Lava Bear that everyone knows, right? Obviously. You know? I mean, but, uh, we all know that one. The so, legend of Lava Bear. We've all grown up with that story. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, it'll be on my site, NathanHamill.com, so when this airs, so just go check that out, and uh, I'll just, I'll give you a hint, it's just, uh, it's all, it's all in the eyes here. Makes a little face there, if you can see that. What? Oh, I can't see, is it on? Yeah. You've been doing it. The whole time it's been like, like right. it's off camera. <laughs> it's right uh, so yeah, that's, um, I don't know what else to say. I'm just, I'm really, He's really so excited cute. for this guy to come Are you out happy? finally. Are you happy with yeah, the it's final my product? Yeah, it's my favorite so far. Really? And I love, I love them all, so. <laughs> Better than Bellicos? Oh uh, yeah, fuck the guy. <laughs> uh, just kidding. <laughs> Buy Bellicos. That sculpt was garbage. <laughs> this one way better. <laughs> wow. No, I'm just I'm excited. You should be excited for your new work, right? You absolutely should. Yeah. So. That is very cool. I'm very but happy. Please go buy Bellicos because yeah. still stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks for the save, George. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing yeah. that out there. Awesome. Well, should we? Uh, is that all the the Comic Con news everybody has? I think so. Okay, so you got a, the or, the crush, mm -hmm. crush pup, and lava bear coming out. And that's at the three D retro booth. Mm -hmm. And you might, if you buy the orange crush pup, win one of them. And they'll be the able name to be determined. They'll be able to find the ticket when they get it. Like, where's the ticket? Like, I think we're just gonna slide it right in right in the car. Oh, so actually, you don't have to actually open it. To we, get we, it. we you have to buy it before you look at well, the. Right. <laughs> right. We don't want any cheaters. They'll here. pick one at random out of the box, give it to you, and then if the yeah. ticket's in there, you can take that home with you, right? The mm -hmm. aqua pop. Yep. Awesome. Very cool. So be sure to check it. When and be you sure buy to tell it. Ben all this news. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be calling in the like every three hours during Comic Con. <laughs> David went to David. David went. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course Flat Bonnie's amazingness and the spark with a Q, baby dragon. Look at his little spikes, you guys. They're so cute. I'm taking this one. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> And that is at the Giant Robot booth, 1729. 29. 29. 29. 1729. So very cool. So there's a lot of exciting things happening. Countdown to Comic-Con. Andale, andale, arriba, arriba, Comic-Con. At the Countdown to Comic-Con. Countdown to Comic-Con. But since that's all you guys have right now, I guess that means it's blind box time. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> all right. Okay. What do we got today, George? Today we have Imaginex Series 2. The ever-elusive Series 2. Um, these are a little bit harder to find. Series 1 was easier, and now Series 3 is hitting stores. And some people still haven't even seen 2 in stores yet. But here they are. We're bringing them to you. So wait, do you want to open yours and get the, the thing out? Yeah, no, no. Here, wait, you guys. We'll, we'll get the thing out so you can pick which one you want. Oh, I see. There's some really cool... Do you see any of the Imaginex stuff in stores? Mm -hmm. They have really great characters. Like So this is the lineup. Oh. Here's all the stuff you could get. I haven't looked. I still haven't looked, so I get to pick two. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I want Bigfoot. I want Bigfoot so badly. Which one's Bigfoot? <gasps> Look at Bigfoot. Yeah. With the big fish. There's Although a lot the of good ones. Guys. I'm gonna go with Caveman or Bigfoot too. Oh, Frankenstein's. Nice. Frankenstein's really cool. <laughs> so it's so funny. Like these are really neat kids' toys. You know, it's ages three to eight, but they have really fun, unique, imaginative mm -hmm. characters. You know, it's not the same old stuff that you see in every other line. Series 3 has Walter White. It does. From Breaking Bad. What? All right, yeah. so we all like Walter White. have it already. It's amazing. How do I open this? Wait, is it one that looks like? It's, it's Walter White. Like, they made Walter White. So we need They're not <laughs> calling it that. Okay. Right, yeah. Oh, I got a good one. How did you open it? I used my teeth. Like a good kid should. Oh, yeah. 
Ba -ba 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 -ba. No, you didn't. Did you get Bigfoot? Ah. Uh. Ooh. What did I get? Oh, I got the cowboy. Or the. Yeah, so they have such great articulation. Ball jointed shoulders. They have wrist articulation, and then leg articulation, so they can sit. I love them. Yeah. So I got. What are the? What's the price point on these? Oh, you got Frankenstein. Nice. Frankenstein. They're like three bucks or something like that. Or... Oh, you got the steampunk guy. Awesome. I think they're three bucks. So fancy for three dollars. Are they really three dollars? The it might be four. I don't know. Like the oh. giant fish club. That's that is awesome. so cool. <laughs> Look at Bigfoot. Uh, Cowboy's okay. He looks better without his jacket on. Sometimes they do. Sometimes the jackets aren't good. Well, it's weird because like the hat's attached, so it looks like an invisible <laughs> ghost is. Ooh. Oh, cowboy. Well, he's like a sheriff. Like a... Do they have names for him? Is that like a tombstone character? Oh, they're they're oh, just. They have a SpongeBob. They uh, left up to your imagination. What you're gonna? Are those his feet? I don't know. I think they go on his feet. <gasps> yeah, they do. Oh, they're... nice. It's stilts. <gasps> he's got oh, steampunk cool. stilts, you guys. That's so weird. Well, look at this one. This is like Kurt Russell from The Thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, I was thinking it was... Um, it totally is. That's funny. Uh, or I guess it could be Victor Frankenstein, because he's right next to Frankenstein. Oh, crap. What's his name? Fall Guy from the beginning of um, Scrooged. I've never seen it. You've never I seen need, Scrooged? I need, to, no, I need to see Are it. Are you kidding me? I know. It's on my It's in my queue. All right. You're coming over tomorrow and we're watching Scrooged. And Running and Man. And Running Man. <laughs> It'll be a, a double feature. To blow your mind. Oh, these are all so good. Look at him without his thing. He's got his brain, exposed brain. Oh, a little zombie green brain. These are all so cool. I just don't understand mm. how they make them so cheap. Yeah. Because they make a lot of them. Because they make yeah. a, lot. a lot of kids buy them. And again, I just think it's really neat because they have unique figures, not just kind of the same old rehashed. Mm -hmm. And there's no paint, yeah. really. I mean, there's, you know. Yeah, there's paint. There's plenty of barely. paint. Look at that None whole of the face. details are painted. The that face, face looks great. The face is painted. That's it. How about that? His fur looks like that. What's that? Chocolate? <laughs> it does look like chocolate. It does look like chocolate. Arrow? Arrow bar? Yeah, yeah. The. I like that it's not really a Sasquatch. It's a dude in a suit pretending oh. to be You can Sasquatch. see his wristwatch right here. <laughs> oh, he's winking, too. And he's got the biggest fish mm. in the world. And he's carrying it around like a club. Awesome. And this guy, he's just like way ahead of his time. This is like... Uh, I can't believe this is for kids. Right? Yeah. Isn't that kind so of amazing? Cool. Yeah. I bet that the stilts would fit on other characters. Well, not Frankenstein, Ooh. but... Right <gasps> Do those... Oh, no, they don't fit on Glados because they have pegs. Uh, I wonder yeah. if you took... The... There you go. <laughs> Big Steampunk on stilts. Steampunk Bigfoot. I like it. I like where this is going. Uh, oh. well, he, it's too big to slide in. Though. Oh. That's which... But if it's on Bigfoot, <laughs> now he's got big feet. <laughs> See, mix and match. All the accessories work. I love it. So weird. All right, well, blind box. We love Imaginex. Go get these. Series 2 is in stores. In series if you can find them, Series also, 3. Breaking Bad. Hitting stores now. Next, next series. There's Breaking Bad and Zombie and... There's a Dracula in the next series. A lot of good ones. Nice. A lot of good monster, good monster toys. And if you want, there's cheat codes. Um, if you don't want to buy them, buy them blind bag. Blind them. Um, there's a little code up in the oh. upper left hand corner that's stamped in. And if you go to our forum, there's a blind bag code mm. section. There's a cheat code section, um, and we have all the codes listed, so you can buy just the one you want. Oh, smart. So I've seen that. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. All right, so I think it's time for some more toys and reviews. All right, up first for reviews, we have some, it's mail time. Mail time. Whoop, whoop. Yay. This what was actually sent in for Aileen. For me. From Show Lee. <gasps> we love stuff from Show Am I showing it? Wait, I'm going to let them see it first. I, I think it's upside down. I can't see it yet. Tell me how cool it is. Yell at the screen. Is it amazing? No one's yelling. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> is that a puppet of me on my hand? No, you. Yes, it's you holding a Toy puppet of you. Rock? Dr. Doom's in here. Wow, he's really been paying attention. Batman and Dr. Doom and, and Gizmo the big dragon and, from oh, Wild Style. And yeah, Lego dudes. 
Everybody's and an here. Ewok and Gizmo, Ewok? dragon, like, my come little on. pony. Everybody's here. The whole gang's here. Mm. He watches Toy Break. Thank you so much, Shelly. <laughs> Very nice. I, need to, I think I might need a frame for that one. Mm-hmm. So we'll put that back in here. Thank you so much. Ah. And then let's get before. Should we do a review or should we do another countdown to Comic Con? Well, you know how much uh, we love Comic Con. Countdown to Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> countdown to Comic Con. <clears throat> well, what do you um, got? What's coming out? I have got a new piece coming out. It might be a little controversial. Because, oh, controversial. Because you know it's not like a, a typical you know thing I produce. Uh, it has no bears or rabbits, monkeys or chickens. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's uh, it's a, it's a piece. I I call it bitch. It's based on a painting I created in 2007. Should I called beep you bitch. out every time you say that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And um, basically, where can it's, people look at your art before we keep going? Well, my name is Luke Chu, and you could go to www.lukechu.com. Nice. HTTP colon backslash backslash, backslash yes. <laughs> Bringing it back to the yeah. old days. <laughs> and um, I, this is based on a painting I created in 2007 called Bitch, and it features uh, two wolves so copulating, and yeah. one of the uh, wolves. <laughs> Well, you know, it's we're talking about animal um, copulation, and it's we not are. as dirty as human copulation, which is just you know it, the f word. It could be <laughs> it could be dirty. Let me ask you one question: Does this wolf think that this is a sheep, or does he think that does he know that this is a wolf in sheep's clothes? Are See, they role playing? Yeah, that's, like they've been that, together that, too long, that, and they're like, dude, well, dress up like a sheep. I you know that I I kind of. I was that asking my, that question myself. I was like, uh, so is it a case of, you know, the wolf, the wolf, the top wolf it thinks he's copulating with a sheep, or did the top wolf ask the bottom wolf to wear the sheep's clothing? And you could tell by the vapid blank <laughs> expression on the, on the <laughs> expression bottom, on the bottom that he's just kind of like, get it over with. He doesn't seem yeah, as into it as yeah. the top one is. That's and, for sure. You know, which and, still doesn't tell me which way it goes. But no, but the, well, it says that like it's not like he was trying being sneaky, wearing like you know like maybe he was prowling, you know, approaching some sheep and like what the sheep and he club, got caught and then like you know just suddenly got mounted. He's I feel like you know top wolf as bottom wolf. To wear the, you know, to 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 do a little something special for that night. Mm. All right, it's Valentine's, you know, you, know? you gotta spice <laughs> it up. Exactly, and um, now as I usually do, uh, I try not to do a lot of, you know, colorways, and my alternate colorway is usually a black and gold one. And so for this, uh, we went with the golden fleece because uh, you know. Because Hercules is coming out with Dwayne Johnson, it. you know, and exactly, Obviously. you know, that's what exactly what Obviously. I was thinking of. Even though I just heard about that movie today, you should well, watch the, the trailers. Uh, really, it looks pretty amazing. Is it exactly like the Hercules movie that starred Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. Oh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because like, wasn't that the one where like, anyways? But um, so uh, oh. please, it, it comes in three parts. You please, um, um, George, I like to see you. You know, you like to watch him break toys. Exactly. Well, to be honest, when you when you have been showing pictures, because I follow you on Facebook and, mm -hmm. and Instagram, and you've been showing pictures of this as it's been coming, um, I, I'm not wasn't a fan, mm -hmm. not not a big fan of this. Out of all the work that you've done <laughs> over the years, I looked and I was like, why on earth would they pick that piece <laughs> to make a toy out of? Out of all of the pieces, the amazing art you have, they picked this one. Like, come on, right? Um, but seeing it in person and seeing how it comes apart and just seeing the production behind it, I really, I can really appreciate the piece on a production level. Like it's really, really? Like, yeah, like this is actually really cool. And I actually kind of want one now that I've seen it in person. Convert. Mm -hmm. um, oh. That's a little rough because, you know, it's, uh, well, it's a sample, yeah, but it's like sample. Yeah. I'm just saying like the way that it's, the way that this has been produced though, I, I really like the, I really like the piece. Um, the, the narrative not really still not necessarily a thing but the production you I, can I don't care for the piece it wasn't one of my favorites of your art um, mm -hmm. out of curiosity how did you choose to do 
that you piece? Know, because you have a, a, so much work that you've done. Well, you know, it's one of those paintings that uh, Patrick Lamb, the owner of Monkey King, has... You can really change the story by just doing this. <laughs> <laughs> because he's got a look of grimace. And that sheep is getting revenge. <laughs> And that might be the way it is on my shelf, as this one stares and looks <laughs> and just watches it. See, it's, it's got so much playability, and you know, it is. Play value. So it's it's one of those things that you know. I go. call it revenge. I, I like to put you know the tails actually. You know, you could take it off, and you could put you know this fleece, the the fleece on this guy. You know, and then you could have him mounting this guy like that. You know, you could do all kinds of things. a lot of you can do with <laughs> this. You know, it, 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 <laughs> can you do... No, this no. one doesn't really... No, this guy just likes to watch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he just, he's kind of just back here okay. looking. Okay. <laughs> Um, you know, Patrick Lamb uh, uh, saw this piece when I first created it in 2007. And um, it was one of those paintings that, he, you know... He has always been, you know, kind of fond of, and honestly, it's a painting that I'm, you know, was really into as well. But I'd never really kind of felt that, you know, uh, you know there was it was right for me. You know, it was, there was a time for me to to produce, produce this piece, and you know, after I've done so many bears and rabbits, you know, I kind of, you know, and Patrick had, you know, brought this piece up. You know, you know it's like, well, you know. Let's, why not give it a try no i'm just gonna be sure it's not that it's not a bear or rabbit if it was a bear or rabbit in this pose i still wouldn't want right it. like no, it's not course. it's not the animal right that makes me not like it no i know it's the, it's the narrative it's right. the whole piece in general like i don't need that on my shelf right i knew, I, and I could res i could respect that and but i could now respect I do. the fact that it's but now <laughs> it's not necessarily you um do. you know a very child friendly well piece though you know, if you do watch documentary you shows like Discovery, yeah, exactly. If you watch Discovery Channel, the wolves um, and the sheep, you see that kind of, this kind of wolves stuff happening all the time. And, and um, it, this kind of tells you a little bit about human sexuality here, and you know, it's what you can expect from, you know, some people out there. But um, so basically, we decided to to. <laughs> to <laughs> Have you play, spent this much time actually playing with one of my toys like this before? No. I don't think he this has. Is. Exactly. I mean, like, uh, it's, it's it's got so much playability. It's crossing boundaries, George. No. Um, I also like that it's it's very, like, there's no markings. Like, it's, there. if you have to go Just into solid this. colors. Inside here to find the marking. Right. Which I really like. I like the, like I said, I like the production on this. So, you've converted me. I do want one now. I'm I'm glad that means a lot to me, you know, especially coming from you because you know it's. Uh... But I am going to set it up differently on my show. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, so, you know, the, so how much and where can we get it? I am not quite sure what the price is yet. This is, of course, the the limited edition Comic Con exclusive. You Countdown know. to Comic Con. Andale, andale, arriba, arriba, Comic Con. Well, I I don't really want to call it a uh, Comic Con exclusive, but it's the Comic Con, it's a Comic -Con debut. Yeah, de debut, and um, it's. Be, we, be, to get this kind of gold where it's all like shiny and chromey, we are actually have to do it here in Los Angeles because um, the factories that we have can't get something so blingy. Really? You know. Technically, I've never really seen anyone trying chrome vinyl. Usually, it's a chrome ABS. Yeah. Right. So, and, which is probably why they're having a problem. Right. And so we're we're doing it here and. Um, Basically, uh, I'll be spending the next couple of weeks in uh, Monkey King HQ, helping uh, Patrick probably, you know... Make it work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All uh, right, so, so you can get these at the Monkey King booth, which... Do you know the number off the uh, Somewhere in the deep, you, dark corner I can tell you of it's Comic Con. literally 10 feet away from our booth, because it's across the aisle. So mm -hmm. we're at 4951, so they're at like... Forty-eight, fifty-one, you know, or forty. Just come Whatever to our booth and we'll go. It's right there. there. <laughs> yes. So please, uh, I'll definitely be coming to Comic Con this year, and I'll be there for, you know, the entire four days where and, um, you know, buying stuff and you going know, to panels and going parties, to panels and, and, parties and, and doing signings and being um, famous. I don't know about that, you know, but uh, <laughs> I will definitely will be doing, releasing this and I'll be signing. I'll be live painting at the Monkey King party and, you know, something uh, I don't usually do, but 
trying to really um, nice sculpting on this too get out of your comfort yeah, zone yeah julie julie v did the, the uh, sculpting from pretty in plastic and awesome. um we uh spent quite a while trying to you know get this get these guys uh just right you know another the, the there's some i do some paintings that are very animal specific um and i felt like you know this is one of those paintings that like it couldn't be anything else simply because of the idiom a wolf in sheep's clothing right yeah so that makes sense you know but um it really got your style down though in the sculpting it looks really nice i'm I, you know honestly i i I, I love this piece. I think it's hilarious. Every time I, <laughs> every time I look at it, I'm, I just kind of have to smile. Like, oh, that's great. And I and think then, you can tell when <laughs> artists have a say. Someone made it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think that's cool when artists work with the company and work with the sculptor directly, yeah. and have input on as the process is going because it makes a better final piece. Yeah. Rather than just. Here's my artwork. Make my thing. Not. I mean, that's fine. Well, if, that's it, I mean, if you care style. about like you know your product, I mean, why wouldn't you? But I think that's it? part of what separates you know the designer and independent toys mm. from like mass market. So like you had a hand in this. You didn't necessarily, you know, sculpt each individual detail, but mm. you worked with the sculptor to make this. Right. Right. That's awesome. Yeah, I I, I did that with all every single release I've ever done, and I would work you know very closely. But with that's why your sculptors. stuff looks like your stuff. Mm. Yeah, 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 just yeah. saying. It's also why it rips through that's... sculptors. How many people have worked on your stuff? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they don't yeah. come back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Wow. But you also brought something for wow. review. I did. I did. Um, <laughs> just so, one small thing, right? Uh, just one little thing. Um, <laughs> it's uh, there's this little company called uh, 3A, and they teamed up with another little company called Bandai. Never heard of them. Yeah. Know, and they decided to make a cardboard box refrigerator <laughs> called. Uh, did you get a refrigerator, Luke? I did. I did because it's so warm in here, and it's called uh, the Full Metal Ghost. And um, oh I, my gosh. you know, I'm not really a big 3A person, but for some reason, there's something about this guy that. You know, Wait, I'm let me see that for a sec. am intrigued. But by. you are a robot person. And I am a robot person, and for you know. I'm Can I ask you a question? Sure. Is this three A or three zero? Uh, three zero. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is not three A. It's not three A. It's three zero, which is gotcha. uh, the foundation of three A. Right. It's so. the factory that three A uses, right? Or something like that. Yeah. Or the because I know that three zero has been putting out a lot more stuff this year, mm -hmm. and they've been they, they have like yeah they're not outside of with three A. Right. Um, and they have like Game well, of Thrones. Well, let's see one of these outside of. So let's Thanks. see what's in this enormous box. Oh my goodness. Uh, so this oh goodness. is it. It's a gigantic. This will crush your toy. It I, is a will. Do I even want to ask what something like this goes for? Uh, about yeah. a little over, uh, a little less than 300, I think. Oh, that's oh. it? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be much more than that. No. You brought over way higher priced toys. <laughs> wow, this thing's amazing. Look and it. it comes with a gigantic freaking oh sword. Whoa. For you to play with as well? Like, <laughs> exactly. Look at the size of this thing. And when you open this uh, this thing up, there's a little like crazy pilot inside. It's like 15 oh, long. this is the one with the little pilot. Yeah, it comes with a little pilot. Uh, let me see if I could be able to open this thing up. Uh, and he's got wardrobe. Yeah, he's got you know. This thing's crazy. It's uh, it's a lot of toy, you know, and um. It's way bigger than I thought it was from pictures online. Yeah, if you, exactly. When I I could sort of see it inside there. Wow. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I, I stuffed him in there this afternoon, but um, yeah, you've seen I've seen the photos of it. When I when I bought it, I was like, okay, oh, you know, gosh. it's going to be about maybe this big, and then like this gigantic box I could barely fit in my trunk, you know, shows up, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, what did I get in my, get, get into, and um. Look at the guy in there. He's awesome. Little dude, and little dude. You know, it's got like a. And he's fully weapons, articulated too, right? Fully like, articulated cloth costume, and you know everything. It's all plastic, and oh, you guys. Um, and cloth, and a little bit of metal here Look and the there. The way the pistons work too. Oh, on the elbows. You know, um, it's got that like Gundam-y kind of mechanical design, and then that three A grit. You know, or three, you know, three zero, three eight. Post-apocalyptic. Yep, and um, it is. And like all the crazy articulation, like with the fingers and. 
Mm-hmm. All the little flappy bits. The crusty uh, ankle little thing. And the kimo- crusty kimono with the metal rings all over the oh place. My gosh. Oh, it's cool. Look at the little symbol in there. Yeah. Like, the legs all it's, it's all articulated crazy. like crazy. And um, there's a lot of other parts I have not quite attached to it yet, like springs that, you know, connect. From oh, legs. really? Yeah, there's like these little like uh, tubes that connect the thigh to the calf. and Tubes you know. are the future. Tubes are the future. You know, it's all like Gundam, you know. Where the, the heck does this even go? Um, That's just for you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it goes you, in your pocket. Look at them, like. <laughs> Where does your sword go? It goes in your pocket, obviously. <laughs> look at the little, like, cloth. One's all chewed up and gross. The other one's all nice. This is amazing. So, it's, um, yeah. I, I wanted to bring it on because, you know, I like to show off my stuff with you guys. You know, we, and we love when you bring it over because this is uh, not a piece I would have ever we would never have. purchased, but it's an amazing mm-hmm. figure. So, oh, look at the toe The on paint the robot is incredible. Yeah. I love the worn robot look. And all the little decal, warning decals all over it. And um, You didn't put those on though, right? Like no, that came no, out. no. Okay, good. It's got like a crazy spine. You take this thing tubes. off. More tubes. Oh, I kind of like them without the kimono battery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I mean, the the cloth has an interesting yeah, it, addition. It, mm-hmm. it, it, well, it, like, you know, there's a... I think, like, you know, his, like, legs and his waist kind of have this, you know, a, a certain thinness in the kimono, like, kind of beefs, beefs him up. up. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, but, um, yeah, it's, um... So where does he sit in your favorites? I see one of your new favorite acquisitions. I don't know. How would you rate him next to other... It's tough, man. Um, you know, the thing about a lot what of the toys... What made me buy them was just um, curiosity, really. And, oh. you know... Um, Whoa. I, uh, I enjoy the... Um, I, I have a lot of... Down. You know... Um, you could, uh, these flaps open up on the side, oh too. Oh, my God. Look at so, that. I was wondering how you got that dude in there. Yeah, yeah. and then you can... Pu- I think you pull this... Somehow, and then you can pull the figure out. Go try and That's pull, crazy. Pull the figure out. Come on, George. Uh, no, it. dude, I'm not breaking Here. your okay. $500 <laughs> toy. 300. 300. It's only 300. Don't worry it's about it. It's only $300. Change. <laughs> no. But, um. I also love his face. He's got a good face. The robot face. And it lights up, but I do not bring batteries. So the cockpit <laughs> lights up, and so does the um, headlight. <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> You need me to pull him out? <laughs> I want to see the dude. <laughs> oh, see how easy that was? Like, I'm not breaking it. I break everything else that's mine. I don't break other people's stuff. You break stuff. stuff that's mine. Well, sometimes. Oh, and uh, this... Oh, it's uh, got a cool face. Shoulder part goes onto one of the shoulders, and Oh, it's this, a Velcro. It's got the little piece. Look at it. Um, Belt? Goes around back? Yeah. It slaps the legs of the strong on the back, yeah. Wow. So, and he's got a his own like another helmet and a mask, you know, like a gas mask kind of thing. It's um, it's pretty intense. Um, you know the thing about like this versus a lot of the other toys that I've I've bought. Um, I collect a line called Soul of Chagokin, which is by Bandai, and well, they they do a lot of like 1970s and 80s like ro- super robots, which are usually associated with like these big anime properties. And those have, like, this... Even though maybe I didn't necessarily grow up with a lot of them, I think I kind of, like, you know, maybe I've seen them in magazines or something like that. So that mm-hmm. kind of nostalgic value really, you know, rings with me um, since I'm, you know, in my my old age and I'm kind of, like, you know... He basically lives in a retirement home. Basically, you know, in the in the, uh, the, the lowbrow artist, you know, retirement yes. center. <laughs> and um, so this guy, though, he he doesn't necessarily have any of that, so the, that kind of nostalgic thing is a little bit lacking for me in this, but as a design in general, I think it's, it's beautiful, and it will definitely, you know, have a nice spot probably above my detoffs because I don't think it'll fit inside them. It doesn't them. fit in it. <laughs> but, um, that doesn't fit in anything. But, um, yeah. It's, oh, that really is, fits in the this studio. This is his mm-hmm. sword. Now I get it. <laughs> uh, let, me, let, me, let me find the other parts in here. So, There's more parts? There's that is more. amazing. There's well, more. should we talk about some events while Luke is finding the other parts? Yeah. Up 
coming up soon. We have Clutter's Custom Show. It's a group custom exhibition at Clutter Gallery in Beacon, New York from July 12th to August 1st. You can go to cluttermagazine.com for more information. As a person who's actually been to the Clutter Gallery, I really recommend, if you're in New York, you know, taking a train up there. It is, if you imagine what a cute little town, New England town, that's been bought out by contemporary art collectors <laughs> is like. Imagine that. That's I'm Beacon. Imagining. Nice. It's really nice. It's really cute. It's got lots of cute places to eat. And Clutter Gallery is right there in the center. And I believe Ron English took took you know control of a good chunk of it. <laughs> so, um, you know... Clutter Gallery, uh, the Clutter Gallery is, is, a, is a cute space, they, you know, have shows, and um, they're good, they're good people, you know, and good peeps. they're really good peeps, and, you know, it's not really like, I mean, they have a lot of stuff on display, but they don't really sell any of it, it's more like, kind of, it's because, like, I think the magazine is based out of there, so they just kind of want to show, like, this is what the magazine's about, mm -hmm. like, a little bit of the history of they're collecting, and then... You know, there's the art gallery, and then of course they'll sell like clutter exclusives, which right. are you know. And then hopefully during the show they sell all the customs. Exactly. <laughs> and don't forget that <laughs> the designer toy awards are coming up from Clutter. Oh yes. That's well, happening again, just like San Diego Comic Con is happening again. Countdown to Comic Con. Countdown to Comic Con. Andale, andale, arriba, arriba, Comic Con. Which, of course, is a comic and popular art convention in San Diego Convention Center in San Diego, California, from July 24th to 27th, comic-con.org. Sorry, I think you can't get tickets, so hopefully you already have your tickets. Even if, if you don't have tickets, you could just come down and do the activities outside the convention Thanks, center, because that would take up your whole week <clears throat> whole weekend. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff going on at Petco Park. There's the whole thing going on over there. So, yeah, there's plenty to do, even if you don't have there's tickets. There's, like, Walking Dead zombie stuff at Petco, and, like... There's concerts that happen, and all the cafes get bought out by different companies, and they have different activities going on all day. Last year, there was like a Vikings, the History Channel Vikings water slide thing. Like, there's so much stuff happening outside. Yeah. Very cool. But also happening inside the convention on Thursday is our panel, the Toy Break panel. I'll be there. Sleeping? Possibly. believe it. Making it happen, <laughs> independent toy design. That's Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. in room 32AB. Of course, we'll have an awesome panel of guests. We have George, we have Scott Tolson, we have Dave Bondi, Carlos East, and we have Spanky Stokes. So um, come bring your toy making questions and we will Comic Con is at seven. Them. Walk your way upstairs. This panel starts at eight. Perfect timing. Then we all walk over to Monkey King and party it up. Monkey yeah. King party at Bar Basic. Keep Yay. me awake for it, please. <laughs> Somebody whoever's sitting by Luke, just do this the whole time. Yeah. Just poke him. Poke me. Poke the bear. Poke me. We also Bad. have real live new work from Le Lucifer in the project room at Stranger Factory in Albuquerque, New Mexico, August mm. 1st, September 2nd. StrangerFactory.com. Whoa. Yeah, Day after that. my birthday, that's how it starts. Ah. Wow, what an awesome, like, extra dude you get. Like, just that little helmet bit changes it so much. Mm hmm. I'm that crazy, like, it's like all steampunky, masky, oh, monkey awesome. dude, samurai. That is very cool. Yeah, the helmet comes off. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah. What a great figure and set. Yeah, the figure is good enough on its own. Yeah, I'd buy that know, figure just by you know, itself. So, you know. All right, well, check out Luke's stuff at the Monkey King booth at Comic-Con and, of course, at LukeChu.com. Yes. And stay tuned and follow him on Instagram and all those things for his, whatever he's doing, whatever he's At Luke Chu, making. please follow me. And I do my best to try and post stuff, uh, a lot of work-in-progress shots because I think I would... I would like to think that people like work in progress shots <laughs> <laughs> and let um, us know if you like work in progress shots follow them and let them know if you don't like it tell them if you yeah. do like it tell them uh, i know i also like you know like post stuff with my friends like i when he goes out to eat dinner and i don't post a lot of food but you know <laughs> selfies I, I do a lot of selfies because i feel like i know how i want to look on a camera and it's easier when you take it yourself it's true i don't trust other people it's true George has the same problem. I made a, a whole doll. Thing. I made a whole doll myself <laughs> just to get that, that make that happen. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's it for episode three hundred and fourteen. We are flying through the three hundreds. Wow. George, you want to tell us about uh, what they can do at toybreak.com? Check out the show notes for this episode and all of the past episodes. Join in on the contests and discussions on our forum. Support the show by clicking the Amazon link before you shop. That's really important. Go to toybreak.com. 
click the Amazon link. It's the top link right there. Thank you, everybody. And then who do does your that? shopping I on try. Amazon. I try, but Thank um, you. I use the Amazon app. And um, yeah, you can't do it from the app. It has to be. Put on it in your car from the app, and then buy it when you get home. There you go. <laughs> there it is. Call us and leave us a voicemail. Eight one eight. Am I good? Email us info at toybreak.com. Follow us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash toy break. Check out our briefs, toy girls, and full episodes on YouTube at youtube.com slash toy break. You can follow us on Twitter at toy break or on Instagram at Aileen Gaspar at Luke Chu at George Gaspar. And that is it. We will see you guys next week with more Countdown to Comic Con. Same toy time, same toy channel. Bye, everyone. Countdown to Comic Con. Andale, andale, arriba, arriba, Comic Con.